is you feeling me? If not, you feel my energy. See, I know I'ma make it, but even if I don't, don't feel bad. Cause honestly, all these times that I had, those will be the best memories. Be the best memories. I hope that you remember me. Alright, what is up, guys? Welcome back to TGTV. So we are back here. Um we're just gonna look at the team for a minute. This was the stupidest thing I did all draft. I didn't realize this. I drafted Solomon Hill. He's 12 million a year. First trade of the day. There's gonna be a lot of trades this episode. I usually like to play a game first, but there's so many things I want to change about this team that this is one of the weirdest drafts I've ever done. I walked away like hating the team I picked. I like might go take that trade. I'm always one for assets. You guys know that. Um, Really, just who's gonna give me the best assets though? And I think it's not a trade where I just get the picks for him. That is to me like, let's go. Um, under the minimum. Okay. I mean, come on. Chris Anderson, that, that's an obvious pick at the Birdman out here. Birdman in Pittsburgh. Uh, we'll have CPU adjust rotation for that. Trade finder next. We're gonna go Serge Ibaka. I'm gonna save. Actually, no, we should make the Miles Turner trade. You've all waited. You've all been patient. The Miles Turner trade had to have happened here. And Jaleel Okafor, I'm not loving there. Lori Markkinen, okay. I, I, we have to get an 85 plus offer here. Oh, you guys are really going to make me go out and offer a trade? All right, so looking at this, we're going to wait. We are going to wait, actually. Markel Fultz, let's throw him out and see what we got offered for him. Markel Fultz, a lot of value. I really like that pick. Uh, I would never in my life trade for a pick right now, though, because you have no idea with these fantasy teams what's going to happen. Clint Capella is an 87? Bro, what? That's insane. He has, he's been crazy good this year. Don't get me wrong, but we're going to go out and we're going to do a, uh, a player finder for a player I happen to uh, enjoy watching a lot this year. The man, the myth, the legend, Jason Tatum. And so we're, we're close. They're not going to take this, of course. So we can say untouchable. Ooh, this might be harder than I thought. We've got wild. Oh, I was going to say we have wild amounts of picks. It's just going to be brought in all the second rounders. Let's see what happens if we stack the board with second round picks. Mm. And we're not getting him. That's so, that's awful. I want Jason Tatum very badly. Uh, we're going to go in, though. That sucks. I really wanted him. Damn. Uh, I want to get like an elite shooting guard here. DeMar DeRozan's the guy who's on my mind. We haven't had DeMar DeRozan in a while. Um, I'd also take Jimmy Butler. We had Jimmy Butler as part of like that like final, um, that kind of final stretch that we had on Dynasty for the uh, for the Hawaii Hurricanes. I was forgetting the name for a minute. But Butler, Butler's not untouchable. We saw that over the offseason. It was like such a quiet trade for Jimmy Butler. Not quiet trade, but you know what I mean. Like it, there was no huge pieces thrown in. Zach Levine, um, Zach Levine, Chris Dunn in the pick for Laurie Markkinen. I think Miles Turner, no, actually, I think, what's his name? Fultz is my better bet to try to snag Butler. We give a first here. I, I'm pretty convinced if we stack in the second round picks that this trade happens. You know, I don't, you know, I don't even care about the second round picks. Come on! No, okay. Victor Oladipo, I don't hate going after at all. Um, let's see what they say about Fultz for Oladipo. They're not liking that trade, really. All right, I'm going to go back. I think I'm going to make the move to get Clint Capella. I never thought going into this that I would be like, let's get Clint Capella, but like, the dude's insane. He's an 87, how old? Clint Capella's not that old. He's pretty young, if I remember correctly. We have Drummond on the board now. Clint Capella's 23 years old. Let me start out by mentioning that he's 23 years old, and I'm going to have to sign him to big money next season. Efficiency 17.7, we don't have that for us. Miles Turner, 18.8. Ooh. Chris Middleton. I don't want Chris Middleton is the key here. 
Um, I'd leave Miles Turner off the board. I'd do this for this. This would be straight up what I want to do for a deal. 2K's got to stop trying to offer me VC. I do not want to buy it. Um, I'm not playing that much of my career this year. Markel Fultz and Clint Capella. I like this deal. This is a 19-year-old at 77. I, yeah, I'm going to take it. We have Russell Westbrook already. And... We like what we have. We're going to have to stack in. This is where those second round pick assets come in. And they agree to the offer. Awesome. We get Clint Capella. I think he's going to develop out of his mind this year. Um, and that throws Miles Turner to the bench. We're not taking our second uh, pick as a, as a six man. That's just not happening. We're going to get back out here on the Miles Turner search bandwagon. And we have a lot of money to spend, may I remind you. We also have him as a restricted free agent, forgot about that, for um, Miles Turner. That's insanely good. And is there anybody crazy out here? What position in our rotation is weak at the moment? I believe it's shooting guard. We have Tony Allen in, correct. We're going to have to walk away from that. Oh, come on, we got to find something. Let's trade Surge. I think maybe Surge will give us another asset to throw in here. But for him... If we can get shooting guard out of him and then maybe try to trade uh, Miles Turner for a power forward, we'd be in a good position. And I'm not really loving any of the offers for Serge Ibaka here. I might walk away with those picks. I'm going to take the picks. I That may not have been my best accepted offer for Serge Ibaka, but I think we can turn... Now we need to trade for a power forward, and I think we can use picks to try to get shooting guard. So, Miles Turner, we're trading you for a power forward. It's got to be straight up what we're doing here. Let's go power forward slash iron. I might be able to convert someone into a power forward. Um, Kevin Love offer here. See what happens if we throw in that first round pick from the Bucks. They've got a counter offer that I think I'm going to take right here. I was not expecting to see this much success with a Kevin Love trade. Andre Roberson, we take in a little bit of an annoying contract, but for Hollis Thompson, I'm actually not going to hate Roberson off the bench. Actually, yes, I am because he's going to go to the line. And I'm going to want to rip my hair up, but we'll leave him on. Everyone's down because of uh, chemistry. What is chemistry? It must be like, yeah, 28%. Okay, last trade that I think we need to make. Do we even have, actually, do we need to make a last trade? We do still need a shooting guard because I don't want to start, um, I don't want to start Roberson. All right, guys, I'm going to cut it on the trades for this episode just because I think we have like, just we've had way too much going on in the trades. I don't want to go absolutely nuts with this. I do not like having Roberson as the starting shooting guard at the moment. I, I think that's an ugly look for our lineup, but we're going to leave it for now. I think it's going to work out with this team, and we're going to be able to get a lot of good wins. And at the trade deadline, that's probably when I'm going to want to make a move for a better shooting guard. We've got a really good amount of picks. We walked away from that those trades, I think, pretty good. I just wanted to show you guys. We have our three picks, then we have this box pick, and then we have the Predators pick. So... We really didn't lose any first round picks. In fact, we gained one. Um, I think the lineup looks awesome. I want to just sim through some games so you guys can see it. Uh, and then, we'll, of course, I'll look at some and see if there's any trades we'd want to do. I'm going to disable CPU trade offers because they're literally never good. But I'd also like to see the chemistry go up so that we don't see all those red arrows down. Um, my guess for the first 10 is we're going to be 6 and 4. I bet you we go on like some little losing streak here of like two games at least. And. We'll fill out roster automatically. We'll get them to sign someone. Marcus Thornton. Sure, I'm fine with it. See, I knew we were going to lose out on Aztecs, the W. Let's, I might be right about this. Six and four for our first ten. Oh! That's going to be a tough hit for season one. Definitely. That's such a killer to see happen. And we're going to be definitely not six and four. Five and five. The Clint Capella injury is a killer. Five and six. So, looking at the team there, the arrows are gone, but Capella going down takes our team from being a top-tier team to being an 
being in a bad position, I'll just say. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next episode, we'll be doing a game, and uh, you guys will finally get to see this team in action. All right, guys, peace. I'm out.